right. Hello, Daryl's house. Welcome to the show.
give it up, Aaron Harp, everybody. Thank you so much. We're so excited to be here. The last time we came through town with our band, our electric band, Aaron Harp and the Delta Swingers. This is our acoustic side. And uh, going back to my roots for this, this new album we put out uh, very recently called Meet Me in the Middle. So we're going to start out with the first song from that album. And if you need a copy, we have them right over there. Or if you're listening online, they're AaronHarp.com. And um, if you're actually watching, people can watch. See the camera over there. <laughs> so this one is called All Night Long, and it's very appropriate for Saturday night. Saturday night out. Isn't that Woo! nice? <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Countryman on the ukulele bass. Right. Oh, by the way, I didn't say the name of this group 
is Aaron Harp CBD. You know about CBD, right? Country blues duo. It means country blues duo. That's what it, whenever you see that, that's what it means. And uh, I am gonna gonna get out the kazoo. Watch out. So that last song I wrote um, when we were in um, isolation. So I was, you know, dreaming about going out all night long. Finally, we can do it. And this is another song that I put on the new album. This is an old Sippy Wallace tune. And uh, one of the old versions of this song had a trumpet solo. So I figured I don't know how to play the trumpet, but I do know how to play the kazoo. So, and my dad got me this handy dandy uh, kazoo holder. So this song has a kazoo solo on the album too. That's the kazoo hands. That's the dance we made up. It's way cooler than jazz hands, yes. We're going to do one that you might know as a slow ballad. And even though this is an acoustic group, we still pretty much play dance music. So if you feel like dancing, go for it. This is kind of the upbeat dance version of this beautiful song by John Prine, who we lost last year. 
Wonderful songwriter, great, great man. So if you know Angel from Montgomery, feel free to sing along. Sometimes I have to do my nails on stage. I get a little, it's very important with finger style that you have your perfect fingernails, which I, I don't have, but they're good enough. <laughs> <laughs> 
the good enough. I'm going to play one with a pick anyways. Here's a song that, uh, that I wrote a little while ago about good luck, and I was not even realizing what bad luck we would have in the world, but uh, it's a good song for right now. Good luck, baby. Feel free to sing along if you uh, pick up on the, on the lyrics. And all these songs are on our different albums, which we brought with us tonight over at the merch table. They're also at AaronHarp.com. It's got a beat. You can help us keep the beat for a second here at the beginning.
Ooh, oh my goodness, it's good to hear real, real audience clapping. You guys are fantastic. Best audience we've had in years, it seems like. So I, was, I talked a little bit about my dad because he got me that kazoo holder, but he also happened to teach me how to play the guitar when I was a teenager. And uh, my dad plays this Piedmont style blues. It's a finger style acoustic blues and um, Piedmont and Delta blues is what I learned from him. His name is Neil Harp and he taught me quite a few of the songs that I play in my set including this next one. It's called the Mississippi Delta blues and uh, I grew up in, I didn't grow up in the, the Delta. I grew up in Maryland and then I moved up to Boston and people started calling our music Charles River Delta Blues. So this is the nickname for this song. It's the Charles River Delta Blues. I'm going down to the Delta Yeah. 
wanted to uh, mention while I was talking about while I was talking about the uh, the scene that I grew up in with my dad playing this style of blues. There's we have a, a special guest tonight here, Frank Mathias. He's right there getting Jim a water. He wrote a book with Phil Wiggins about the uh, the scene in Washington D.C. that my dad was in. So it just came out last year. So oh yeah. This book right here is about all the people that I grew up in this uh, really cool music scene in Washington, D.C., including uh, Cephas and Wiggins and... Uh, John Jackson. Eleanor Ellis, all kinds of people. My dad, Neil Harp. And uh, it was all taking place around... There was a barber shop. Archie Edwards had a barber shop in Washington, D.C. And we would go down there. Um, after he closed up the shop, they would have a weekly blues jam. It was all acoustic... Piedmont style blues, and uh, so it's a really fun book to read. Grab a copy if you if you can. DC's homemade blues—that's what the the subtitle. So I wanted to mention that because uh, it's very cool that there was. It's a it's a small scene, but it really made a huge impact on me, as you can tell. This is the roots of the blues that I play, and. Uh, that's why we wanted to do this acoustic CBD group. And this is a song that I wrote for the new album. It's called Hard Luck Woman. So I have to admit, I was feeling a little bit sorry for myself last year and uh, might have come out in the music. But it's, it's still danceable, so. That's, that's what the blues is. It's often upbeat, danceable songs about Sometimes depressing topics, not always, but sometimes. <laughs> song from the album I'm going to do. This is a, a lot of these are from the new album. Figured I'd play them all tonight because this is our album release party. We uh, put this album out a few months back, but we were not able to tour. So this is our first really uh, 
show of the Meet Me in the Middle tour. So thanks for coming down. So this is an old spiritual song, and, and this is the version by one of my very favorite finger-picking uh, blues players, Mississippi John Hurt. Another uh, 
theme on the new album is women in blues. Women, yeah! <laughs> I got into women in blues early on because those were the songs that were easiest for me to sing because I'm, you know, female. I didn't have to switch around all the lyrics. But also I found out along the way that some of the women were amazing guitar players as well as songwriters, and uh, they're a great um, inspiration to me. This song is by Lucille Bogan, and it's called I Hate That Train That They Call the m and It's a long name, but it's not, it's not about the, the commuter train or anything like that. <laughs> I like to joke about that in Boston. It's not about the T. It's a different, different kind of train.
she's a rich girl. <laughs> no, you're not talking about me. One on one, my baby. trying to think of man-eater, but I can't right now. <laughs> All right, I got a kazoo. Okay, got to stop. That could be a whole thing, though, playing uh, Hall & Oates songs on kazoo. I bet no one's done that before. No one has ever done that, I bet. I'll work on that for next time. We're going to do another song by women of the, of the country blues. This one's by Gishi Wiley and L.V. Thomas, and they... Both played guitar and wrote songs, and hardly anything's known about them because they were they only recorded one session in, uh, in the 1930s. So this one's called Pick Four Rotten Clean, and you can sing along. It's got a little bit of a scat part. It's got kazoo, kazoo hands. And by the way, if you like this kazoo, it's called a kazoozaphone. That's what I call it. And it is um, got this horn on top and it, it's just way better than the regular kazoos it's the most expensive kazoo you can buy it's two for ten yeah there we have them at our merch table yes it's a uh, i think it's twice as much for for this and kazoos are five dollars so anyway something like that get yourself a kazoo if, if you want to learn kazoo i can teach you in about five seconds I want a two, I want two. Satisfied. 
Thank you so much. And like I said, that was uh, by a woman of the country blues. And I happened to uh, teach that song on a DVD that I have oh, also over at the merch table. I did a DVD called Women of the Country Blues and it, for Stefan Grossman's uh, guitar workshop. So if anybody out there wants to learn some of this stuff on guitar, check it out. And now, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit with a song about, I think this song might have started out on the Hudson River. I think so, think I so? think so, that's what they told us. I, I went to school in upstate New York. <laughs> oh, Jim's from New York. That's right, and they told us that in social studies Just class. Just up the river. Yep, Kingston. It's a Hudson Valley boy. Kerhonkson. So this is Samsonville. A, this is a little bit like Minnie the Moocher, but this is the seafaring version, so. I figure it probably started out somewhere around here on the uh, on the Hudson River, and then they just went on down to the ocean and ended up all sorts of places. She meant Santa who knew the 
duo. Very happy to be here live and direct. So uh, Frank, my friend Frank over here with the book, we talked about the book, you got to get a copy. Um, he was, he also writes articles for Living Blues magazine. Give it up, Living Blues, great magazine. Frank, I'll have that money for you after the show for that article you wrote for us. Thank you. Oh, he reviewed the new album very well, so, you know, it's well, it's, uh, it's highly recommended. Anyway, you were just telling me a story about um, coming, up, coming here to Daryl's house to see Taj Mahal, and you also interviewed Taj Mahal, so I'm going to do a song that Taj Mahal made famous. And Taj Mahal's from uh, Massachusetts. It's like, well, we're not from there, but we live there. So if you know this one, sing along. Otherwise, get out your fishing rod and get ready to go fishing. Texas Henry Thomas originally wrote it. That's right.
like make a joke or something once, which is always here. <laughs> it's hilarious, yeah. This is my funny guitar. My jokes have all been censored, so I'm, I'm holding I know, them I back. don't really let him tell jokes yeah, on, on stage anymore. They've been mixed. Actually, you told a lot of jokes on our, um, on our Y5 live, um, live stream show. It's because it's our house. I'm not going to file my nails again, don't worry. She's going to file her toenails. No. I'm going to file some papers. <laughs> no, we're going to do the title track of the new album that Woo! it's our album release party for. Meet me in the middle. It's a song about getting along when it's not always, always easy. I don't know if anybody's had that experience, especially this year. I have. Not between us, never.
like to big up my brother Walter in the audience. Woo! Right. He told me all about Kiss and Kiss Alive back in the... He taught you how to kiss? No, I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Rock and roll. See, that's nice, because I didn't have a big brother to teach me about Kiss. I didn't know about them until I met you. I could be your big brother. No, I, I, saw, I saw their makeup and stuff, though. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to do what I'm good at, which is uh, some old blues. This is an old song. You might have heard lots of different groups do this. It's called Rollin' and Tumblin'. This is what I was doing last night when I was like, oh my God, I got a show tomorrow. Wow. I was rolling and tumbling. <laughs>
We're going to uh, play straight through to 11.30 tonight. <laughs> That's why we started with All Night Long, right? This is the first of five sets with no breaks. Yeah. That would be... That would That'd be like the good old days. We used to do gigs like that. That's why I brought my, my pad for my seat. Jim Countryman on the ukulele bass, everybody. What do you call that thing? 14 ounces of doom. 14 ounces of doom. So now we're going to do my, we're going to do another uh, song by a, one of the women in blues I was talking about. This is my personal favorite uh, woman of the Delta Blues. Her name is Memphis Minnie, and the, she uh, lived up to her reputation. Her name, they called her the Queen of the Delta Blues. She was one of the best guitar players in this style in the 1930s, 40s, and beyond. So this is a great song. We put this on the album. It's called What's the Matter with the Mill? And uh, we're going to do a spoiler alert. What, what's the matter with the mill, Jim? It done broke down. So it's a call and response. You guys can sing with Jim and uh, answer me and, and tell me that the mill done broke down. Also, there's Memphis Mini on the DVD, Women of the, the uh, Country Blues. We're going to do One Fine Day, right? we got one more song from the album that we haven't done yet. Okay. Called One Fine Day. Now, this is a song that, well... Got, it's got a lot of possible things that it's about, and it, I was not thinking about just one thing when I wrote this song, but uh, 
it's about one fine day we'll be together. So it was kind of like all of our lives last year, you know? We were just thinking one day we're going to be able to hug each other again and see each other again. I, I didn't see my own family for a whole year and a half. Luckily, we saw, got to see them before our tour started. So this is the song, One Fine Day, from the, the new album, Meet Me in the Middle. Oh, Aaron, um, I've got to tell you guys, uh, Aaron, oh. and I, we, we just got nominated for a Blues Blast Magazine Award for the best acoustic album of the year. So voting goes until August 6th. Thank Blues you. Blast. The best thing about it is you can all vote for us and uh, then we'll have a better chance uh, of winning. Fake news, fake news. No, it's not. It's actually, if you go on my website, you you can click through and you'll find out that my, uh, the name's, my name's really on the ballot That's for right. once. Not like when I lied about it last time. All right, we're going to do the last song from the album that we're going to do tonight, and then we, we got time for maybe one or two more after that. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> To our doggy Edgar, who is our longtime mascot, who had to step out, and we'll see him soon. That's right. 
he was friends with Bailey, the dog that hangs out here. Peter's dog, cool dog. All right, you want, you want one more? Yeah. Oh, good, good. We'll see what happens. All right, we'll do at least one more. I don't. <laughs> All right. This one's called the Future Blues. much. Once again, we're Aaron Harp, CBD, country blues duo, Jim Countryman on the ukulele bass. You guys want one more song? Why not? You guys want three more sets? Okay, lock the door. Let's take a bar break. We'll be right back. No. I bet you can tell this, but he's a troublemaker. I'm trying to keep it quiet. We only know the oh, ska version. I'm going to do the Memphis mini version of Freebird. It's uh, actually 
A song about a chauffeur. Thank you. See you soon.